Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mods by Brandon. In this episode, we're going to break down the turbo, what we've just taken off the car, and see if anything's salvageable, if it can be repaired. If not, we're going to buy a new turbo. Today we're going to concentrate on stripping down the turbo. Um, I already lubricated these bolts up a couple of days ago, so they're already loose already, so I'm going to take off the actuator. Uh, one thing I did realise, there was no clip actually retaining this actual actuator on. Now, it's you can see it's got some free play now, um, but it didn't it didn't have before. Um, obviously, you can see, it looks like there was some damage on there and it doesn't look like it was going to move freely. Um, so I've actually had to hit that quite hard to get it off, as you can see, I've actually bent this, I mean obviously I can straighten that back up. If it does doesn't go back, it's not a problem. Um, I was planning on potentially upgrading at some point anyway um, to a bigger turbo, maybe the GT, um, DDO4 or the GT28, 27, 28. Um, so I'm not overly bothered at the moment, obviously it's bent there as well. Um, so yeah, we'll take this off. Imagine your valves looking like that. And next we'll take off the inlet. Take the amount of play in that. Took me a little time, but then I managed to get these um, these free bolts off. Um, I had to go buy myself some Imperial spanners because obviously um, I've only currently got free eight, I've only got Imperial sockets. Um, so as you can see, I managed to get them off. Took a lot of persuasion um, to get them loose. So I'm just gonna take this off now. Very awkward to get into these. Once you get your spanner, and you can't get it back out. Today, my TDO4 HL15T turbo arrived. Um, so, we're going to open that up and see. Um, hopefully, we've got it from a breakers if it's any good. But hopefully, the turbine's not as bad as the old one. So, or damaged or any, any case. Uh, we got it quite cheap from the breakers. I've never used them before. It was an online purchase from eBay, so we'll see how that ranks up. The old turbo is absolutely knackered, so we won't be looking at that or replacing it. The the turbine itself is knackered, the housing is knackered as well. So we're gonna not we're gonna neglect that and have done with it. Um, but I w what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up so we can have a look at this, make sure it works, or make sure it looks okay. See what we're gonna need after that to put into the car, and we'll also compare it to the existing one as well. Never a fan of this stuff. It's always so messy. Dice out later. Smell the oil. No, it's just some nuts missing. Oh, um, bolts. But I could probably take them off the other one. Um, they're not a problem. And it's in, happy to know it's in good condition. That's fantastic news. No movement, no play, or anything like that. Um, I'll get you some closer video later on. Um, we'll probably compare it to the original. So yeah, overall, fantastic news. Um, so I believe off the top of my head, they decided to change, well, they decided to change, they've actually used different coolant lines. Um, so to look at what we've got compared to what we need to change it to. Um, obviously I have to take the studs off the original, um, off the exhaust, 
Um, so apart from that, yeah, it seems good news. I've been looking at the fringe downpipe, so I think I'm going to get a friend to make one of them. Um, I've noticed that the actuator is slightly bent um, just here. Um, I'll see how that's going to affect it and how it's going to move. It seems okay at the moment, but I will check it first. Um, see if I can free it up or you know, straighten that up a little bit. Um, and obviously I'm going to probably do the air box. I'm not too sure if I do a different air pipe, so I need to see if that's any different, but we'll look at that when we get to it. Apart from that, it's all good. So I'll wrap this up for now. Um, and what we'll do is later on we'll compare that to the, the original on the TV. TV17 and we'll probably look at start fitting it very shortly. Um, full information the, the old servo is completely and utterly knackered. So there's no point even borrowing with that. I looked at the um, obviously like I said I'm no mechanic or anything like that, so I'll just I get advice and I look at things and I, I compare the Originals to what it should look like, and it's a mess. The obviously you can see. I'll I'll, sh I'll show you later a close up um, picture of the actual turbine itself, and it the bent to hell. So there's no point replacing it, and also it's affected the housing as well. So it's not worth looking at or replacing. Obviously, when I say replacing, we've replaced it with a TDO4 HL 15T. Um, I believe they do 19T as well, but I'm not overly bothered. I don't think the gains are massively different. Um, so And this became available for a very low cost. So as you can see, you've got the old uh, Garrett Turbo from the Saab 9.3 Turbo, as I showed before previously. The turbine is extremely loose. The bearings have obviously gone in there and the seals. Um, I start needing to replace it. Um, I've noticed obviously a significant amount of damage to the turbine. It's very bent as well, um, and by the looks of it, it's caused quite a lot of significant damage to the housing as well. Um, so, obviously, when it's on originally, you could see that it was actually touching the side of the housing. Um, so, we are going to scrap that, we're not going to have that anymore, but we have got a replacement. We've got a TDO4 turbo. Now, as you can see, quite a lot of movement in that um, on the new one. I did get it from a, a scrapyard, um, but as you can see, there's absolutely no movement in that whatsoever. Um, it's a nice, nice fitting. It's absolutely perfect. So this is the TDO4 HL15T. Uh, this should give us a lot more power. Um, it's a bigger turbo. Feels quite a lot heavier as well. Um, I'm going to look at the lines to see if there's much difference with them um, but before I'm going to quickly just assemble this one back and put the uh, housing back on I did eventually get the bolts off for the exhaust side um, but it's just not moving it's not budging whatsoever so I've given it as a lost cause there's no point messing around with it um, just to break it down and have fun basically Right, so so obviously the coolant parts are in the same place. I do believe the coolant pipes are bigger. Um, I do have the old parts lying around somewhere in here. Um, when I do find, oh, I did, I'll put it in the back of the car. So when I do find that, I can compare it to the original, um, and then we can go from there. So the inlet side. Pretty much looks exactly like the same. Um, obviously, I measured it. I don't have a tape measure at hand at the moment. Um, so that's absolutely fine. The exhaust looks the same size as well. Um, obviously, it's recommendations to have a three inch downpipe. Um, that gives you more power. So we'll, we'll definitely be taking that as an opportunity. Um, all the coolant and oil lines seem relatively exact same places. Um, 
I don't think we're gonna have an issue here. I think we're gonna be all right. Um, so it's looking all right. Obviously, you can tell like the stud bolts are in there, so I'll have to take the original ones off of here and put them onto there. Um, that that should be much of a task, so we should be all right there. I'll say that now. It's a bit too soon. I've noticed it is slightly bent on here. Um, I don't know if that's a normal thing. Um, so I will double check. But so far so good. It looks great. It's gonna give us a lot more power. Um, I hope it's gonna sound great as well. And yeah, uh, we'll make a start on it shortly. So we'll check out the coolant lines. We'll see what we actually need to change. If we do need to change anything, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, don't think it's much of a task to be honest. We're just changing the pipe sizes. We'll have more coolant through. You see the difference. You can see there, it's, it, it would have been touching that quite a lot. Uh, you can actually see, if you look closely, how around the edges, how much space there is compared to that one. It is so close. You, even if it even had play in it, it wouldn't move. Obviously, well, this has had play over time as it's been spinning. Because um, they do spin around about 100,000 100, RPM. Uh, it's been shaving itself, effectively. Um, obviously, hence the reason why it's ended up you know, like all seals have gone and then eventually you're getting a shed load of oil blue smoke come out the back of your car you can't see in there too much and i don't have a, a torch at the right moment in hand um but it, that's significantly bad as well i think this one's a bit of a different layout so you can you can just see it you might be able to see that in there but again it's it looks it feels absolutely great compared to this one it feels fantastic um, I'm leaking coolant and oil everywhere. I think I'll just rest that there for a little bit and give it a bit of a rest. Clearly, the um, scrap yard didn't drain it off completely, but it's fine. We paid very little money for that. You almost give it away. That's how cheap it was. So, yeah, that concludes everything for the time being. Um, we'll have a look at the engine bay, see what we can do with the coolant lines. I'll have a look at the old one. Um, I'll actually attach it back on, look at the difference, see what our difference is in diameter. Um, then we'll order some pipe and we'll probably make a start on getting it fitted again we'll take a look at our actuator um, and we should be on, on his way I'm going to get in touch with a friend of mine to see if he can do us a 3 inch downpipe before I put this on if he can or with a high floor cap if he can do that before I put the, um, ex before I put the turbo back on um, it, it doesn't necessarily save us any time but at least we've done it straight away right and we may even look at um, changing the intercooler as well probably get a second hand one from maybe like a an evo or um potentially a cosworth um just notice as i've been looking you can see the difference there's a slight difference in the in the up pipe on there as well so we'll take a look at that and see if it's going to affect as much um if it does again we can change the change the pipe and make adaptations to it it's not a big deal um but yeah that's fantastic obviously i'll give us a flange for that but i have got my own so and i presume it's the same size let's have a quick look yeah it's the same size so we'll be absolutely fine there excellent here we are once again with the GT17 and the TDO4 turbo, the water line and the banjo bolt. So originally I wanted to use the existing line um, on the new turbo and the TDO4, but obviously the size is a little bit different. Um, as you can see, originally the current line would go on the GT17 would be here. As you can see that sits, it fits in nicely. No problem whatsoever. Um, but the thread is also a completely different on the TDO4. We could get a smaller banjo bolt and some washers, but I'd be worried that when it is actually on the on the turbo, obviously there'll be quite a lot of play in there, um, and it's more chance of obviously just a failure. So I am I have actually got myself a TDO4 coolant line with the TDO4 banjo bolts. That's on its way. Um, Alongside that, I have also got the uh, gaskets and the studs. Uh, what else did I order as well? Obviously, so it's got the oil lines as well, so the new, the new oil lines. 
Uh, they're actually brand new as well, so I can replace these ones um, with new ones completely. The exhaust gasket, because originally I took off the exhaust manifold. Um, I've got line, I should have it lying around here somewhere. Oh, it's probably in the back of the car. So that's good as well. I've also got myself a service kit, so I've got my air filter, it's probably irrelevant, but I've got it anyway, just so I can change it. The spark plugs, the coolant, the oil, I think it's 5W30, and also an oil sump plug comes with that as well. I have also been advised that it's recommended to change the empty the sump completely take it off reseal it back up because obviously they're quite sludgy engines and there might be some metal debris obviously from the turbo um unfortunately i don't know if you've already seen the where the car is parked at the moment it's on gravel i can't really move it at the moment it's obviously declared off-road so the intention is to put it together i paid very little for this turbo it's not an, well this one uh, it's not an excuse um to break it obviously i don't really want that to happen it's very unlikely for it to happen but i am just gonna get it started and then obviously get it to a garage where i can actually get up on the ramp and um start cracking on with the mot which i believe is due very shortly in a couple of weeks so i want to get up and running and then we will by that point probably get it tuned next time on mods by brandon we will receive the searchable items for the car um, I think I've ordered the oil filter, spark plugs, air filter, pollen filter, um, some gaskets as well, and the oil and coolant lines for the new turbo. So they'll be with us um, next time. Um, in the meantime, if you can follow us on at Mods by Brandon on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you for watching. <laughs>